All right. What have we got here? So this is going to be my Christmas build. I was counting the number of drones I've got in the office. 14 is the current count. So I feel like I need some more drones. Uh, and the components for this were kindly provided by the RG Pilot Foundation uh, because my marmot crashed. Uh, and so I decided to try something different. So what I'm going to build is a badger. Again, Armaton DJI edition. Uh, a six inch, six inch frame this time. And I'm going to mount walks, a walk snail uh, setup on it. Now, a Matten went through a change of hands relatively recently. And you've really not been able to buy a Matten for the longest time. Uh, apart from sort of end of stock. They are now back online as far as I can tell. They still haven't fully refreshed their stock. So I don't think you can buy this still. You might be able to find um, find one sort of in other uh, suppliers, but uh, they say they're having a full stock refresh um, in February. Now the interesting thing about the Badger is that it's actually very similar to the marmot. So this is a marmot frame. This is a five inch frame. And uh, this is my DJI version. You can see the DJI transmitter there. So they actually offer a conversion kit. So you can, if you've got a marmot frame, you can actually replace this solid base plate with um, a badger set. It. So these, these come as separate arms and a separate base plate. But there's actually a conversion kit you can use there. Um, I haven't seen whether there's actually a marmot six inch, so it's possible. I think it's quite likely that the five inch and six inch top plates are the same size and it's just the arms that are a bit, little bit longer. Uh, so I suspect you could get a marmot, this is a marmot five inch, I suspect you could get a marmot five inch and buy the conversion kit and build a badger that way or simply just use um, a marmot five inch frame of which there are still a few about they seem to have them in stock um, and I think all of the components that I'm going to use here will fit on a marmot frame the uh, the only thing to bear in mind is that they do two different versions of this so there's a DJI edition which extends the the base plate a bit give a bit more room to the video transmitter and also extends the camera mount a little bit so that it's out of the way of the, the props. Um, so if you were to buy Marmot, ideally if you want to set up like this, then get the DJI address. And it is impossible, it is possible to build these using the regular Marmot frame, but uh, you just got a bit more space with this DJI edition frame. And this in fact is the Badger. DJI edition so it'll be a little bit longer uh, and the arms will be a bit longer as well so on this so I'm obviously going to put the walk snail transmitter um, I'm also going to put so these are T-Motor F60s so most of so these this one has got T-Motor F40s version 5 I think they are so these were a little bit more powerful than the version 4s lovely motors really really fast these are F60s and they are so these are 6S motors I think this was the highest KV I could get so this is 2050 I want to say KV can't quite read that 2020 KV I think so these are F60s, a little bit more torquey, slightly higher in the bell. And these are a low weight race motor. So they are, so these are Pro 5 LV. So I think that just means that it's low weight basically. So it's built with a little bit less metal 
uh, with a hollow tube and so just a little they're a little bit lighter than the other motors uh, which is great a little bit l less metal here um, they're actually very similar in size to the uh, F40 so I'll be interested to see whether you get a little bit they're supposed to have a bit more power maybe 15% more power than these so we'll see how that goes so I've got a set of those and then I'm going to drive those using the latest incarnation of the T-Motor F55 so this is the Pro 3 so there was a Pro 2 which I've used on this we can't quite tell it's got a just see the plate at the bottom there. This is a Pro 2, this is a Pro 3. Interestingly, so on the this one there's an LED that you can drive via D shot. On this one it looks like they've dropped the LED. Looks like. Unless that's I don't think that's an LED. But uh, yeah it looks like they've dropped the LED. Um, this is goes up to 6S. Uh, so it's very similar. Um, they're quite expensive. These like hundred pounds or something. Goes up to six S, but uh, I quite like these. Uh, they're sort of very compact, well built, and uh, super powerful. So I shall use that. And then uh, flight controller. I'm going to use the Matek H743 Slim. V3 so this is one that allows you to use an SD card I think the other one that's worth considering that allows you to use the SD card is the Holybroke Coot H7 they've got a V1.3 I think it's V1.3 so this has got two ICM 42688 uh, I haven't got this open um, IMUs and uh, Interestingly, it says ICM 42688-42605. That seems quite old to me. So I know the later versions were just two 42688s. So I will compare that. I think I'll make sure that I use one with two 42688s because it's a bit better IMU. Um, so it takes an SD card, you can use the Qt H7, uh, they've got a new one just coming out which has the 42688 on it, just one IMU. Uh, but uh, this is a great um, great board, I use that for a bunch of builds. I think I didn't use it on here, this is a diatone board on here which is great as well. Um, but that's my flight controller. Uh, the GPS. I'm going to use this little, this is an M10, uh, M10Q I think, GPS puck and uh, I'll mount that in a um, 3D printed GPU at the back. Uh, you can see this is this is um, Matek as well but it's slightly bigger so this is slightly smaller, we'll see how that fares. And then for uh, obviously you don't need any sort of video transmitter other than the walk snail and then for the radio receiver I'm going to use Tracer again, Tracer is sort of my go-to um, go receiver so that fits nicely uh, and then also I tend to switch out the um, so this comes with a uh, left hand polarized antenna uh, I tend to like to use right hand polarized just because I've got better antenna and so I'll probably what I'll do is I'll switch that for this one which is right hand polarized this is a long long range one and which I can also just like I've got with the um, Marmot here, there's a little mounting uh, adapter SMA, RP SMA to UFL. I want to say so, I'll probably do, do that that way. 
And then in terms of props, I'm going to use these master air screw. So I've never used master air screw props before. But, uh, these are six inch props. Nice sort of black color, nice and stiff. Seem they look like they're quite strong as well. So we'll see how those those go. Um, and that is it. So I'm going to build that and have a lot of fun doing so. And uh, what I want to do is also just sort of demonstrate how to get the perfect tune on this. So I'll sort of show you um, my setup there. But uh, the idea here is if, if you're sort of new to RG Pilot and you want to put a, together a good, nice race quad setup, um, then this is an option. So uh, just a reminder, so we got the Matek M10Q5083, the Matek H743 Slim V3 flight controller, Walksnail Avatar HD transmitter, got TBS Tracer radio tra uh, receiver, Badger 6 inch DJI edition, T-Motor F60 Pro 5s LV, and these are 2020 KB, so these will run in 6S. And then the T-Motor F60, sorry, F55 Amp Pro 3 uh, 4-in-1 ESC. All right, so thanks for watching.